We do have the videotape also for people who don't have the time to read. But therein you learn very clearly what's happening here. This whole poisoning agenda is called non-lethal. It's a quote, non-lethal. It's very deadly. It's very lethal. But it doesn't kill you quickly. It kills you insidiously, slowly, as the most profitable way to kill off excess populations, quote unquote, is where you poison them in various ways through the what's called Russian biological cocktail method that includes poisoning people with everything from chemtrails to fluoride in the drinking water and chlorinated drinking water, through the food, through the water, through the air. There's multiple means of intoxication and that the combination of cofactors makes it scientifically and medically impossible, medically, legally, to prove anybody did anything. So this is how they've done it. It's an insidious method of conducting depopulation most profitably, most insidiously, covertly, and that's how essentially the heavy metals play in. It's part of the chemical intoxication, the physical intoxication, and ultimately the spiritual suppression. Because when you understand this is spiritual warfare, it is not against flesh and blood with whom we do battle. When you understand that the spirit is an energy, when you understand that the neurology functions energetically, that we are bio-spiritual or bio-energetic beings, then if you're the enemy, then what you want to do is take out the population bio-spiritually from the chemical intoxications, the heavy metal intoxications, it affects the neurology, the spirituality. Now you've got suppression, incarceration, and enslavement. Well, I want to kind of get into the, the history of Baxter because, you know, this is, uh, you know, I, I know that Baxter is not good, but what you listed off in the beginning of the interview, uh, you know, where this company comes from and it, its background is just appalling. You said that they actually helped uh, spread AIDS. Were they involved in the Bear and Factor 8 mess or, or something else? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And there are, Bear has its own, I understand, with the Factor 8 mess, but I believe... Uh, you know, please test me on this. You know, I've, uh -huh. again, I've been a, involved with the Concert for the Living Water, which is, I believe, our humanity's only salvation at this point, is engaged in the Concert for the Living Water. Uh, go to liveh2o.org, L-I-V-E-H-2-O.org. Make sure it's an O, not a zero, because the zero won't take you anywhere. That uh, is basically our plan to take back the planet for the love of God. So check it out. The, the Baxter connection, if my memory serves me correctly, they're heavily implicated when I did the anthrax and mailings investigation and mm -hmm. nailed the uh, organization uh, called Battelle Institute and that the dissemination of the anthrax with its links to the other cartel players Baxter was heavily implicated, and Baxter's name came up on some searches, I believe I did on the Google, again, where they disseminated HIV through various, I think it was blood clotting products that were different from the Bayer corporations. But it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like a, a shell game. Where is the nut? You know, basically, Baxter is part of the uh, union of firms that evolved out of the de decartelization of IG Farben by the Rockefeller crony uh, banker and uh, lawyer that. Uh, well, let's talk let's a little see. IG Farben on the other side. Yeah, Info right, War exactly. All right, let's talk about IG Farben on the other side. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, prisonplan.tv, infowars.com. back we're joined by dr leonard horowitz and uh we were getting into ig farben uh we're going to take your calls for leonard horowitz on the other side of this break it's 866-582-9933 866-582-9933 but why don't you tell uh the listeners about ig for farben and their importance their whole role in this i know i've seen uh, a world without cancer g edward griffin's presentation they're not very Beautiful. nice guys are yeah. they no but g edward griffin is <laughs> yes he is yeah. absolutely uh, you know, I.G. Farben was broken up by John J. McCloy at the end of World War II. So when, and again, all of this is on uh, DVD that we produced 
the books that I've done, it heavily plays into all of the contemporary bioterrorism agendas to understand the history whereby the petrochemical pharmaceutical cartel was broken up by John J. McCloy, who is a, an attorney as well as a bankster for the Rockefellers, and he was sent over to Europe in the decartelization of IG Farben. So as you had um, uh, Martin Borman, who was engaged in the uh, money laundering and taking the money out, as well as Prescott Bush was engaged, and the Bush uh, family was engaged in Harriman Brown banking and the money that was exiting from Hitler's Third Reich, as well as through the rat lines, uh, through the Vatican and v through a variety of other places, you had uh, you had John J. McCloy actually breaking up I.G. Farben into BASF tapes, hoaxed corporation, and you had American Home Products as part of that mix. Bayer Corporation was the fundamental organization that was not so much broken up it was just basically individualized and out of bear then you've got so much from HIV AIDS as we mentioned earlier to the intoxication of humanity through a variety of other pharmaceuticals so this is sadly what they were looking for what they were looking for during the Nazi concentration camp experiments that were being conducted, uh, not just Jews, but a lot of Christians were involved, a lot of people were persecuted, uh, blacks, everybody, gays were persecuted, Native Americans were, were persecuted, everybody that didn't fit into this white Anglo-American genocidal uh, agenda were per persecuted as experimental subjects in those camps, and when they tested for genetics, the understanding now that we know is that the beginnings of the eugenics project for genetically determining predispositions for diseases among verse various um, ethnic groups, so and Jews, Italians, blacks. I mean, I tell you, they did analyses on everything from Christians, how you take Christians out, uh, versus how you take. Uh, Italians out and blacks out. It's, it's, it's amazing when you start to do the research reviews. And then what you realize is that the experiments for how to take enslaved populations and enslave them to drugs as well as diseases, that's what they were doing in the concentration camps. And so subsequent to that research and development, they developed these companies, including Bayer developed everything from vaccinations, and the earliest vaccines had to deal with uh, smallpox. Uh, they were used in the 1800s already. There were experimentations going on. They were spreading anthrax uh, to uh, the wars during the wars where the cavalry were important. They spread the anthrax killing off cavalry when the natives were giving them problems in the United States because of the uh, efforts they had to honor the land and that they were resisting the iron railroads and et cetera, et cetera, and, and challenging uh, the Anglo-American presence of na on native, previously native, traditionally native properties that were never the natives' own properties. It was always sacred to basically walk on Mother Earth. Now, how could you own something that was of God? You didn't have that mentality. So when they suddenly white men and the money from Europe, and today who owns the railroads? You're still looking at the British royalty and the banksters of Europe own all the railroads going through America. And so, you know, they started infringing on native populations and when the natives wouldn't get out of the way, they gave them smallpox laced blankets as gifts. And so <laughs> all right, this more is with Lynn Horowitz on the other side. It's the InfoWarrior with Jason Burmas, PrisonPlan.tv, InfoWars.com. A lot of things can cut off your electrical power. Hurricane snow, high storms, listeners should move towards getting off the grid. And here's a good way to do just that. It's the solar power generator. It's designed to provide 800 watts of power on demand in the event of any disaster or outage. Yet um, you get an emergency power backup kit, which consists of the Power Source 1800 power plant, a high efficiency solar panel designed to provide endless electricity. Remember, too, that gas generators need gas, but in the blackout, gas pumps can't pump gas because they run on electricity. 
The solar generator is like having a silent power plant hidden in your home. It's the perfect emergency backup for troubled times. The government doesn't own the sun yet, folks, so make your move today. MySolarBackup.com or 877-327-0365, 877-327-0365.